Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome back to uh, Kovac Enterprises, where we've been working on the uh, Batman vs. Superman Batmobile uh, from the Dawn of Justice uh, movie. Uh, as you can see, we've gotten quite a, li uh, quite a bit done here uh, today, and I uh, just want to go over some uh, key points uh, uh, up to this build uh, process that I've been doing. So, <clears throat> basically, uh, our next step was to... Uh, uh, put in the side panels on the front and rear side once we put the uh, mid panels in place uh, with the detail work because we wanted to go ahead and um, get back here behind uh, this part here with with paint and detail work and and whatnot uh, once that was done uh, I went ahead and airbrushed uh, gunmetal gray on the uh, uh, side panels for both sides of the uh, vehicle once that was done, uh, I went ahead and dry fit it at least two or three times uh, just to make sure that uh, uh, the part fitted in there quick, uh, correctly. And uh, once uh, I was satisfied, uh, we went ahead and glued the parts in permanently. Um, and once that was all dried and ready to go, we went to the next step. And I'll go ahead and turn this to the upper suspension with the suspension struts. Uh, we went ahead uh, first they wanted to as far as the instructions were concerned uh, to go ahead and put this uh, suspension brace in first but do not glue it which I did because it just kind of hangs uh, uh, down for a little bit until after you install the upper suspension on the four points uh, on the front part of the vehicle once that was glued in uh, we went ahead and raised up this uh, suspension brace and glued it to uh, this lower part of the uh, suspension. So once that was done and completed, uh, we went ahead and uh, started working on the uh, tires. Um, if you recall, uh, when you first open up this kit, uh, all four tires have a real nice uh, shiny gloss to it, uh, black shiny gloss to it. Uh, and I just basically wanted to tone that down a little bit. So I went ahead and uh, use some 320 grit sandpaper and just kind of buff it up a little bit and uh, and knock down the uh, the shine to it on all four tires um, and then I went ahead once the 320 was done I went ahead with the 600 uh, just to kind of clean up some of the little details uh, around the tire itself and uh, once we we're done with that uh, we went ahead and installed the uh, the rims inside the tires uh, after I, uh, you know, painted them with the uh, flat black first, and then we uh, went with a uh, sterling silver for the lug nuts and a little bit of some gunmetal gray around the uh, the rims themselves on the outside, just to kind of get a little bit of some detail. And uh, once that was said and done, we went ahead and <clears throat> installed the wheels with the uh, fenders. Uh, now the fenders themselves come in two parts You have your we'll go here to the front. We have the uh, front fender and then we have the uh, Outer fender, uh, but you have to kind of do it in in order So basically we went ahead and installed the front fender to the uh, suspension slide on the wheel and then you come back and uh, apply the uh, outer fender uh, so we did that to all four sides, one, two, three, and four. Uh, follow the same uh, same uh, principle. So uh, there you have it. This is where we're at uh, as far as the uh, uh, part of the uh, assembly process. Uh, we're about halfway done, like I said, through the instructions. Uh, I'm basically trying to just go ahead uh, uh, per instructions to uh, uh, kind of go in order. Uh, as far as assembling this uh, with regards to you know, uh, you know what needs to be painted and stuff like that um, so the next uh, step uh, will be to uh, work on the interior bucket and uh, take care of some of the details of the uh, you know the dashboard and the seats and, and whatnot um, I went ahead and I'll set this off to the side I went ahead since I had the gunmetal gray out for those side panels is uh, I went ahead and 
did the same thing with the rest of the exterior body of the uh, vehicle so uh, I got the upper half of the body uh, as well covered with the uh, gunmetal gray this was all airbrushed uh, so there you go there's that and then we went ahead and did the uh, upper part of the uh, body where this will be uh, assembled over the uh, interior bucket so uh, that has a nice gunmetal uh, shine to it as well and uh, so like I said that's where we're at at this point and uh, so our next uh, episode uh, I'll be dealing with uh, the interior bucket as uh, well as uh, starting to put together the uh, upper body assembly with the uh, uh, machine gun torque and uh, the front wing and, and so forth and so on so uh, I hope uh, at this point everybody has a good uh, 4th of July weekend and uh, we will catch you on the uh, next episode so everybody have a good day and we'll catch you later